The hardest thing about launching a startup brand online is knowing where to begin. It can get overwhelming really fast if you're thinking about every single step you need to take between now and the successful launch of your business. In today's episode, let's narrow your task list down to just the top three must-haves for getting your startup online and break them down into actionable steps so you can build your brand like the Fortune 100s, even if no one knows your name yet. Today, we answer the question on every entrepreneur's mind, how do I begin building my brand online? So let's jump right in. Number one, lock down your domain name. Okay, so I'm a professional namer. I have been for 25 years. And when I tell people that, many people tell me they've never heard of someone being a professional namer. There's like a fascination about it. And I'm often asked, what have you named? Anything I'd recognize? The answer is yes. Definitely. I've named for some very recognizable brands. Kraft, Puma, Saturn, Stouffer's, Boar's Head, Whole Hershey's. I'm doing all the foods here. <laughs> Kodak, Kia, Honda, MTV. I go that far back just to name a few. And I even named for Canon. That was fun. Top brands still delegate that uber important brand messenger of a name to professional namers. Because, such as myself, because they've learned, usually the hard way, on previously failed brand identity projects, that a great name is the difference between creating great brand recognition or fading away into the oblivion of internet ad space. So what these top brands know about naming and what many new businesses overlook is that yeah, it's your business, but even your name should be all about them. All about your ideal individuals, about it should be about what they need, how they want to feel, how your brand intends to meet those needs, and all of that in one clear and catchy name. In today's digital marketplace, it's not just about coming up with a great name anymore. It also needs to be a great domain name. So let's get you going to lock down your domain name. Here's an easy checklist. It needs to be, well, available, first of all. The first part is super straightforward. You need to go to a website that does a search to let you know if your brand name is available to own. I really like namechecker.com because it will search across multiple platforms at once and let you know right away, not only about the availability of the .com, but it also covers all the social media channels, Facebook page, Twitter handle, YouTube channel, and several others, all of them really, all at once. From there, you get this bird's eye view that will help you take that first major leap forward, choosing your domain name. It needs to be easy to read. So when trying to lock down your domain name, let's say your first choice isn't available, which is often the case, most often the case, it's really a common mistake for entrepreneurs to hold on too tightly to that first choice by playing with the usual spellings and making it kind of a little weird or using abbreviations or substituting a word two and four with the numbers two and four, throwing in like weird hyphens, which by the way, can get you flagged by Google as spam. All kinds of little tweaks just to hold on to that original vision that they had, which no one ever knew about yet. I try to get so clever. I'm gonna share with you one of my main teaching points for how your name, your business. Clarity outperforms clever every single time. If the name of your brand doesn't have hyphens or numbers or quirky spelling, then the domain name shouldn't either. Consider that your brand's online presence will be advertising for you 24-7. And be agile enough to loosen your grip on that one name. Take it from a professional name where I can tell you how many names I absolutely loved and had to let go of because it wasn't completely available. And it happens over and over again. Actually, it's part of the process for me. Here's a little secret to keep you like searching. One of the best things about language is that it's very romantic. And what I find again and again is that there's always another phrase, another term, another angle for communicating the heart of what your brand and attracting your ideal individual from that heart. Not holding on too tightly is a brilliant and actually rather meditative practice for an entrepreneur to learn early on because an entrepreneurial journey will always be served by a willingness to embrace sudden change. That's how we keep the ball rolling until we reach the top of the hill, right? Open up your search to new possibilities and aim for a domain name that is easy to read, easy to say, easy to spell, easy to share. Because hey, when brand recognition is your goal, it helps to be easy to remember. 
I'm also going to recommend that you want to do a deep dive into brand building with me and get all the teaching points. Come to my webinar and we can get next level with uncovering your perfect brand name. I'll put the RSVP in the description for you. We'd love to have you there. Next on the checklist. Okay, here's where it gets good. It needs to be memorable. And by this, I mean emotional. The emotion your name inspires needs to set the tone for your brand. Your domain name needs to be a little sample of what it feels like to be a part of your brand community. It's the emotion that leaves the lingering impression. It's the emotion that gets them dreaming of a greater future. And when the time comes, it's the emotion that makes the decision to buy from your brand an easy yes for them. Now, if your business is named after you, like Bob's Auto Shop, that's great. I actually ran that name through Name Checker just for fun, and it's available, so if you're out there, Bob, you might want to open up an auto shop. <laughs> or if you have an auto shop, there you go. If you're using your own name as your personal brand and the domain is available, then there will be other opportunities for your online brand to communicate emotion. And we're going to talk about them in this episode, so don't worry. Your last check on this list for locking down your domain name is it needs to be easy to find. Okay, so when it comes to being easy to find online, people always want to know, does the domain name matter for SEO? Yeah, but that doesn't mean someone, let's say Bob, should choose a keyword heavy domain name just such like best car repair shop in Philly.com. He's actually better off with Bob's Auto Shop com instead because it has both personal branding and at least one keyword right auto shop but you don't need any keywords in your domain name to be easy to find apple's domain name isn't buy the new iphone.com when it comes to domain names keywords help with discoverability but only to a certain uh, rather small degree have you noticed that we've almost never seen those long crazy domain names anymore it's because in 2012 Google noticed a lot of low quality spam websites were using exact match domain names to corral people into scams. Ever since then, Google began favoring brand domains over heavy keyword domains. And if your business name is actually something like the best pizza in town, which is actually kind of cute, and your domain name is the best pizza in town.com, and it's a real possibility that Google will actually check up on your site to be certain that it's legitimate. So always make sure your site is high quality and very personalized. What will make your domain name easy to find is building a brand, making it clear, making it memorable, making it easy to spell. And if you have a keyword or two in your brand name, great. But if not, the domain name is only a small part of SEO search ranking. Number one, was a doozy, right? Well, naming is super important, so I'm trying to give you everything I can so your online brand can come out of nowhere. Now, let's get to number two. Get a logo, get it registered. I'm always surprised when someone asks me, do I even really need a logo? You know that saying, a picture's worth a thousand words? Well, it comes to your logo for online branding. That saying is an understatement. Your name opens things up with an emotion. And then that logo takes that emotion and carries it into the story. It gives your ideal individual a visual cue that transports them into the greater future promised by your brand. If you aren't gifted in graphic arts, this is one area of online branding where hiring a consultant is a wise investment. And if you have any questions for me about your logo, you can leave them in the comments below. I absolutely love design. Here are four ways a great logo will be a very powerful asset to your brand's online presence. It'll make a strong first impression. Your brand's name, tagline, and logo are all part of the trifecta that creates the brand's first impression. As consumers, we see something like 5,000 or more ads a day. And if an ad can be ignored, we ignore it. In fact, studies have shown that our minds automatically Delete 99% of the ads we see every day. Your logo will help people decide in those three to five seconds. Your brand comes into their view, whether or not they delete or dive in. It's actually called the blink test. And if you wanna learn more about passing the blink test, definitely make sure you RSVP for the How to Brand Like the Fortune 100s webinar. Using the link below because I prepared the answer key that I'm giving away to everyone who attends. 
Next, it'll convey your brand's personality and values. A great logo is the perfect place to start showcasing your brand's personality and letting people know that your brand understands and upholds their common values. It'll provide credibility. Professional logo telegraphs a sense of establishment and legitimacy. It shows that someone cares and takes pride in the brand. And through the use of various colors, it can inspire the emotions that align with your brand's promise. Different colors inspire different emotions. And if you'd like to download a free brand color guide, you can check out this episode here. Okay, and lastly, it'll create familiarity. Your logo personifies your name and tagline. It's the tapestry that weaves your brand's first impression into a complete and beautiful picture. It's the visual reminder of how life could be better with the help of your brand. And it delivers an emotional impact over and over again for your ideal audience with very minimal effort on their part. All they have to do is see it. They don't even need to read anything. Over time, they'll begin to experience the same emotional satisfaction from recognizing your brand as they experience from recognizing anything they enjoy. It becomes automatic. When it comes to registering your logo, I mean, what else can I say? You need to protect your intellectual property. You need to respect yourself in that way, your future in that way. Once you find that rock star logo that tells an emotional story and aligns perfectly with your brand, then get online, read reviews, Find an agency, go through the steps they outline for you, and get it registered ASAP. And finally, we have number three, build your website. You have your domain name, you have your logo, and now you are ready to start building your website. Remember, your website is going to advertise for you and your brand 24-7. If you are a professional website builder, or if you aren't a marketing expert, this is an area of brand building that I highly recommend investing in outside experience. Everything from conceptualizing design layouts to creating an excellent user experience to stepping up your SEO. All of these vital aspects of building your website will only be enhanced by tapping into the talents and passions of people who are experienced at creating amazing results for brands online. This is how you take yourself seriously by getting your website right the first time. It will be a well worth the investment. And typically, when expertise in website building isn't utilized in the beginning, it leads to expensive rebranding later down the line that often inconveniences the customers you've already gained and sometimes causes you to lose them. That's why we're talking about it today. In the webinar, I'm going to offer a crazy bonus at the end, but I'm only mentioning it right here in this episode. If you watch this far, I'm going to just let you in on a little secret. One of the bonuses I'm offering to the people who attend How to Brand Like the Fortune 100's webinar will be a deep discount that includes a website professionally built from top to bottom, curated perfectly to your brand story. It's just one of the many little advantages of being a member of my brand community. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this episode, please let me know and be sure to hit the subscribe button below because I release new masterclasses on brand building every Tuesday and Thursday. Any questions you have, I'd love to answer them in the comments. And that RSVP for that webinar event that you don't want to miss, it's right below in the descriptions as well. You got this. Get your startup company rolling with a great domain name and just keep going. I'm here for you every step of the way and I can't wait to see how you shine when you love what you do, and you love how you do it. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on a single thing. Subscribe below. And here's something else I think you'll love.